Two exercises I'd like you to get involved in. Number one is all of you try to put your thumbs up like this and then turn at the back and see how far you can go. Now you register a time, a place where you, uh, a landmark. All of you, please try. Have you done that? Okay, now back to normal position. Okay, now I'd like you to close your eyes and say that higher expectation equals higher productivity. Expectation, higher productivity. Low expectation, no results. Low expectation, no results. Now, close your eyes. I want you to go as far as you can, if possible, increase your productivity by 50% or 100%. Moving backwards. You will be able to do it very easily. Okay, now open your eyes and move backwards. How far have you gone? Far away. <laughs> How far have you gone? 50%? 100%? More. more. <laughs> okay, back. So now you can see from this experiment, higher expectation equals higher performance. Low expectation, no performance. Next thing I want you to close your eyes. If you are not closing your eyes, I'm going, going to ask you to go out and sing a song. <laughs> Close your eyes. Now, I want you to imagine in front of you, you have a nice juicy lemon. Nice juicy lemon. You got a sharp knife. Sharp knife. You're cutting the lemon, lemon into half. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And then you can see the juice flowing out. When the juice is flowing out, then you take one part, put it on top, and then squeeze it in your, in your tongue. Wow! <laughs> imagine! How does it taste like? Wow. Bitter? Sweet? Sour? Mm. Squeeze it and then taste it. Yeah. Mm. Sour. Oh. sour Very very sour As you imagine you become Let me introduce Dr. Atim and myself Combining our both experience uh, Will be more than the BP's uh, uh, Scouting uh, years Of 108 years It's more than that okay. So it is my privilege To have Dr. Atim and me Combine together Our own experiences Our successes in life and today, sharing it with you. I hope, and I, I'm very happy that all of you are here. And I hope that you can pick up something useful. And this is a, basically a three days program, day and night, to change the habit pattern and the attitude of people to achieve success. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give yourself a big hand. Very glad to address your August Assembly jointly with my leader, Dr. Dr. Thomas Chi, and we will speak together about success through scouting. And as you have seen before, scouting can make difference in life. It saves life. Scout can save lives, and this is true by being a successful organization. This photo shows what a scout can do. This photo shows two scouts, one of them from Lebanon and the other from Libya. This had been taken in 2008 in Arab Scout Gamburi. At that time, the politicians are not talking to each other, but our young people in the field are exchanging flowers among each other. That means the future of our world is really bright because our scouts are loving each other. 
we found that 87% of our leaders in the region, they pass through scouting. They are proud, they are scouting. They are leader, not by chance, because scouting play a major role in their success. Moreover, do you think that or believe two-thirds of NASA staff are also scout? Even 20 out of 24 people who fly to the moon, they were scout. And even 11 out of 12 of moon walkers, they were scout. And they are proud that they are scout. Even Neil Armstrong, when he went to the moon, he took a scout badge with him to the moon. That means also he's proud that he's a scout. So for us to have this good success in scouting, we need to start by what B.B. told us in his last message. He said a lot of things. But for us, we want whatever he told us, whatever we would like to tell our young people, it needed to be seen to others, not only ink on paper. Bibi, he said that the God put us in this jolly world to be happy and enjoy life. What about this happiness? If we are not happy, can we make other people happy? No. Happiness does not come from being rich or even being successful in your life. Or even if you born in a luxurious lifestyle, some people who are normal people, even they don't have what to eat in the evening, but they are happy. Why they are happy? Yeah, you're right. What's the real happiness? The real happiness, giving happiness to other people, if you are happy alone and you did not transfer the happiness to the people in your surrounding, you cannot enjoy this happiness for yourself. And one of the key of the success to be happy and make other people really happy. One step toward being a real happy person is to be healthy and strong. When you are healthy, that does not mean that you are not having a disease because health is a complete physical and mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of diseases or infirmity. This is the health. You need everybody in the movement to be healthy in body, healthy in mind, healthy in thought, healthy in everything. And strong in his thought also. Strong is his, in his decision or her decision. Strong in his opinion or her opinion in order to do a decisive things in order to do courageous things, make him or her go forward and make other people also happy and healthy. Because when you are young, happy and healthy, for sure you will enjoy that when you get a man or woman. We need you also, if you would like to be healthy and happy, a transfer this happy and wellness, and to be really successful, to make the scouting is part of healthy lifestyle. You are not practicing a scout only in uniform. If the scouting is part of the lifestyle of the person, everything will be going in streamline in a good way toward the successfulness. The other thing that we want also to be content with what we have got and make the best of what we have got because the God gave us these beautiful things, beautiful life for us to enjoy. And when we enjoy it in a better way, that we are very successful because if we have the resource and we didn't utilize it in a better way, we are not successful. So it's wasteless. So we need to make the best of everything that we have in our life. And we need to look into the bright part of the thing, not on the gloomy thing, part of it. If there is any problem for us, it's an opportunity. If we look to the empty half of the cup, we will sink in the problems. But if we look into the filled half of the cup, that means, as Dr. Thomas she said, everything will be open for us towards the success. Here, the success for us, it means something well. It means 
sense of direction. Yes, it is sense of direction. If you don't have a direction, you will be turning around yourself. Also, it is understanding and it is courage. Isn't it? It is also, it is a charity. Also for us, it is enthusiasm. If you are not enthusiastic about what you are doing, you cannot make the best of it. It is self-confidence. It is self-acceptance. This is the success. The other part or the other face of the success, when you are doing something that it is worthwhile for you, this is also part of the success because you feel that you are doing something, you feel that it is something already worthwhile. But this is not complete unless you put two things. One of them, that you do your best, and the other thing that you enjoy doing it. So if you didn't do your best, it is also it's not complete. If you didn't enjoy it, it's also not complete. Uh, this is why we try usually to live the place that we are living in better than we found. And this is all we have been told by Badim Baul to do that. We are not reinventing the wheel. We are doing many things, but still we are in the track that Badim Baul put it for us, but we try to do it with the mentality of people of today. So you cannot make the thing better than you found unless you are successful or have a good skill in doing the thing. Otherwise, the other people who came before you, they will do the thing better than you are doing. So this is skill. It will be transferred to other people. If you have a skill and you didn't transfer it to other people, still your skill, it will be decreasing. But if you transfer it, you will get also more input from the person that you give the skill to him or to her. So for this success and skill, you need to stop the conscious effort and give a way to your unconscious effort to take over. In this case, that you are doing the thing without any problem because the human brain cannot differentiate between the virtual skill and the actual skill. So this is why in this case you can benefit from your success and from your failure and even from the failure of other people if you know it and put it in the positive side that means it, it can be added to the success and to the experience and to the skills that you have, and after that, the output, it will be more success and more skill from your side. Uh, so, because of that, you should have to give uh, a space to your imagination power for more success, because if you saw uh, an imagination and thought, you will give what? If you saw thought, you reap an action. If you saw action, you reap a habit. If you saw a habit, you reap a character. If you saw a character, you reap a destiny. And this is what we need. So this starts by this imagination. And by putting whatever good in your brain, because of that, whenever you, you fill your brain with a good thing and good habit and good thought, that means you will go in the right track of successfulness. If you look to this photo, <laughs> and, and this can be linked to what we have had in the morning session, we have many people who are now other leaders in scouting. They grow in age, but unfortunately they didn't grow in their skills and, and whatever the young people now have. And this is why they depend on their authority. But we have many young people. They are not growing in age yet, but they grow in their skills and power. This is why they are more influential to the movement and influential to the career. This is why we need also to build on that. And we need also to take care and to make uh, this equation go also according to the right track. And, and, and now, uh, when we look to the scouting in 2023 and the vision of scouting in 2023, we need to consider these facts which is already happening today. 
as you think you will become. If you think that, you're, so you are a cat, you cannot face anything. Usually, whenever there is any problem, any obstacles in your way, if you feel that you can do it, you will do it. And you can pass any difficulties. So we need to be prepared, to be ready, to live happy and die happy. But we cannot do that unless we make use of our time. The time is very valuable. But we make use of our time and also we need to make the best of it. And we do our best in everything that we do. If we try to remember, for example, just what has happened yesterday, you will find that if the day is 100%, only all the good things that you have done in that day, it has been done with only 20% of your effort. And 80% is just working, sleeping, chatting, eating, like that. And even in our companies and in our institutions, most of the good things done by 20% of our staff. So let us look for this 20% and utilize it fully. In this way, not only the 80% will enjoy it, but everybody even in our community will enjoy it in a proper way. So let us stick to our promise even when we get adult. Because most of the people, they do the scout promise when they are young, but many people, when they are old, they forgot about it. They forgot about its implementation. They forgot about many things related to these good values, which is related to our movement. So we need to stick to that. And this also has been told to us by Bibi. So we need not to forget our scout law, because it is very important. And that too, Dr. Thomas Chi will speak to you a lot about that. But the only one thing, for example, is they said in the morning there is 114 billionaire in China. They became multi-billionaire because of their thrifty. And this is part of our scout. They have FQ, isn't it? So we need to be also uh, applying the principles which is in our scout law in order to be really successful people in our life because this is also part of the essence of our movement. We need to be a real leader, but if we would like our people to be a real leader and the leader, you know, the natural leader and all of you, a real leader, you know the natural leader start from early. The real, the natural leader. So we need to do something from us in order to empower them. We don't need to say use empowerment or like that. We need to empower people by giving them a real development in their life and in their career. This is what we need. And this is what we have done in our renewed scout curriculum for the regional office. And we'll try to exchange this experience with other colleagues from other regions. We need to give them involvement. We need to give them encouragement, enforcement, engagement. Recruitment, endorsement, and by that we will reach the empowerment. We need all the scouts to be successful. They should have to be supportive. They need to be autonomous. They need to be committed, and they need to be responsible. And if we do all of that, by the end, we will reach more than 100 million proactive citizen to change life by 2023. Thank you very much. Now the chance to Dr. Dr. Thomas <laughs> yep. My fellow colleagues and brother scouts, do you like the first presentation? Yes. Dr. Atif speaks from the heart. He is a very good leader, very outstanding leader. <clears throat> and we are here to share our experiences with you. Both Atif and my age is even more than the scouting years. You know, more than 100 years. And we are sharing our wonderful experience with you. Okay? Now, can you all please stand up? Scouting is always uh, learning by doing. Okay? Please raise your hand. Up. Say bye-bye. 
know, by doing this, you stimulate your circulation. Oh. My God, it's very powerful. Do it faster. Mm. Down. Up. At the back. Well done. I always believe that scouting is uh, learning by doing. Experiential learning, action learning, continuous improvement. Never, never stop learning. The minute you stop learning, there's a saying, he who graduates today, stops learning tomorrow, is uneducated the following day. It's interesting. Especially in computers, every three months, the capacity of computer increased 100%. And you may have to learn computers from your grandchildren or children. You agree? So he who graduates today, stops learning tomorrow, is uneducated the following day. I know one scouter, he says, I've got 30 years of experience in scouting. But I told him, you've got one year of experience times 30 times all over the same. Tying the same knots for 30 years. Are you one of them? And if you stop learning, you are uneducated. So it's a continuous, lifelong learning. Do you agree? Those who don't agree, please hands up. You don't agree. So, <laughs> Dr. Atif did a very good job and uh, give him a big hand. Even uh, uh, clapping also, you must have skills. You know that? Please extend 18 inch. No, 18 inch. 18 inch, I give him a three sharp clap together. One, two, three. See, big difference of productivity. Okay, we started with uh, the imagination. Einstein said, imagination is more powerful than willpower. Imagination is more powerful than knowledge. Just now you imagine that you were tasting something sour. But where was the lime? Where was the lemon? It's all in the mind. As you think, you become. So today I'm going to share with you cybernetics. What is the meaning of cybernetics? Cybernetics is actually coined by a gentleman, a psychiatrist, known as John Maxwell, uh, sorry, uh, Maxwell Maltz. His book is here. If you have the time, I, he passed away already. I was trained by his trainer many, many years ago. How to use the mind to achieve great success in your life. Okay? So we have proven that as you imagine, as, as Dr. Atif said, so a thought. What? Read, man. Action. So an action. So a habit. So a character. Your destiny, therefore, is determined by your thoughts. Don't remember. Remember, we are all like farmers. We are farmers. Whatever seed we plant by thoughts. We plant a tomato seed, at the end we get a tomato plant. You plant a mango seed, you get a mango plant. We plant the weeds in the mind, the weeds will generate. Who is the mastermind? You control your life. Therefore, you have to be very, very careful on the thoughts. Cybernetic means yourself, your mind, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind is being directed all the time towards a goal. That goal is a moving target, like a plane. And your mind is just like a rocket. Surface air, um, surface missile. Aiming to hit the target. What is the target? Your goals in life. So you, you have learned how to manage your bio computer to achieve maximum success in whatever you want in your life. Okay. So applied psychosabinetic is developing a self-image of yourself. You don't think that you are sour like a if you think so, your life will be very sour. <laughs> right? As Dr. Atif said, as you think, you become. 
Therefore, you need to develop a positive image. Now, scouting philosophy gives you a very good knowledge of your self-image, how you should conduct yourself. It's a way of life. It's a philosophy. And therefore, how to use that positive philosophy to achieve your goals in whatever goals in life. 95% of people don't even know what they want to achieve in life. You know that? They don't know. They are just a happy wanderer. You know? They don't know what they really want to achieve in life. Okay? So therefore, we need to develop certain skills. Now, we shall discuss what skills are required to achieve success. Now, both Atif and myself, we have been scouts for a long time, since the age of 10 or even when we were young. And we grew up through scouting. And from scouting, we further educated ourselves in management, in leadership, in many other skills. And therefore, we became very massively successful in our own careers. And we are talking about our own personal experience. Okay? What we learned, <coughs> what we developed over the years. Then we established habits. 98% of what we do every day is determined by our habits. Think about it. We are controlled by habits every day in our lives. Some good habits, some not so good habits. But if the habits are not good, then it becomes a negative impact in your life. If you've got a lot of good habits, you create a lot of positive impact in your life. Therefore, how to get rid of false belief? Very simple. Your imagination. Okay? As you think, you become. Okay? Then, we have the very basic law. Apart from the scout law, there are three basic elements that we need to enhance to be successful in life. Number one is you must have the qualities, certain qualities. Of course, the scouting qualities is important. Very, very important. Okay? Then the second one is mind control, your mental attitude, the way you think. Okay? And the third, how to control your emotions. Right? If you don't control your emotions, then your emotions control you. And <laughs> after a uh, six o'clock explosion, you go back home, you clash with your husband and your wife. So they outburst. Or worst of all, you have a quarrel with your partner and you go out and kick a dog. So emotional control is very, very important. Okay? If you cannot control your emotion, your, con your emotion controls you and you are ruled by your emotions. That's how people during meetings, they fight, they quarrel, they shout at each other because they lack emotional control. But if you are scouts, you follow the scout law. The most difficult to follow the scout law is the scout smile under all difficulties. How many of you have this type of problem? I used to have this type of problem. A scout smiles and whistles under all difficulties. If you can do that, you'll master yourself. Agree? Okay. And we move on. So if you want to have a lot of money, cash. <laughs> cash means money, you know. <laughs> you must be skilled in having knowledge of whatever you're doing. A, you must have the right mental attitude. Third, you must have the skills. What is skills? Skills is doing something times, many, many, many times, and become skilled. You do something, tie a knot, or do something, do it seven times repeatedly, the new formation of the new habits will overcome the old habits. The old habits disappear. The new habits take over. Okay? So we are all controlled, 98% of our life is controlled by habits. Good habits, bad habits. Okay? So far, everybody clear? Simple enough? Yeah. You try to make it as simple as possible so that you can register. <clears throat> then, what are the essential qualities apart from the scout law? Can everybody, can we all read this together? S. Sincerity. H. Helpfulness. E. Enthusiasm. A. Effectiveness. F. Friendliness. Okay, and what's the next of sincerity? Insincere. Do you like to deal with people who are not sincere? No, no way. Second, the negative impact is, do you like to deal with people who are not helpful? No. No way. That's the negative part. And then enthusiastic. Look at. <laughs> Tell anything or so. Comes in, comes out. 
<laughs> A, attentiveness. Ah. Yesterday, during the opening ceremony, Christine Liu will talk about what? What is attentiveness? Attentiveness definition is who paying full attention to what the other person is saying, okay, and responding appropriately. So yesterday her talk was just about A, being attentive to people. Is that right? Being a good listener and respond positively. So yesterday her talk was just on attentiveness, on EQ, relationship through attentiveness, or TA, transactional analysis. How you deal with people. Okay? Transactional analysis or emotional portion. Then the next is friendliness. What's the opposite of friendliness? Unfriendly. So if you are the opposite of this shift, you are not likely to succeed. This is the basic qualities. If you don't have it, your chances of succeeding is minimum. If you are strong in it, i.e. you are very sincere in dealing with people, honest, sincere, and you are very helpful, going out of your way to help people, going out of your way to help people is being helpfulness. Not just doing it as a matter of fact. And then, enthusiasm, getting excited with whatever you are doing. You are not excited with whatever you are doing, you can never succeed. Okay? Right. Attentiveness, that means pay full attention to what you're doing. Okay? Friendliness means genuinely friendly with people. Okay? Let's move. Next one. <clears throat> A lot of people study, but then when it comes to practical, let's say you, you read a book on life saving. And I ask you to jump down and save a life, you think you would just succeed? No. So what's the difference between education and training? You know, in the, in the parent-teacher association, they were discussing about one, one parent asked the headmistress who was chairing the session, what's the difference between they, they, they were actually discussing about uh, education in uh, Sex education. Sex education you're discussing. And one parent asked the headmistress, what is the difference between education and training? Then the headmistress said, what, what you read is education, what you practice <coughs> training. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> okay. The essence of knowledge is knowing to apply. If whatever knowledge you acquire up here, if you don't apply, don't develop skills. If you don't apply skills, you have no value. To be successful according to Confucius, Confucius is the adept. Very often his, his sayings confuse me a lot. But this statement <laughs> doesn't confuse me because I know. To develop skills, you have to apply. Okay? You agree? Agree, everybody? Okay, let's move on. Then we develop, a tip for myself, we develop the triangle of success. How to achieve success as a scout? Okay, number one, you use applied psychosamanetic. How to apply principle of achieving your target? Using the scout philosophy. What is the scout philosophy? The way of life. Scouting philosophy is a way of life, how to live a successful life. But that alone is not enough. We have to enhance it by the law of success. Okay? Law of success very important. There are a lot of gurus on the law of success. We learn from these gurus and we practice these laws. Okay? So we adapt these three and apply cybernetics. Ultimately, all leading, all roads lead to Rome, all rivers flow to one ocean. And the central part is you. You become very successful and a happy person when you are able to achieve maximized productivity and the satisfaction of life is increased. Okay? Next one. Then say all development starts from self-development. You agree? If you don't develop yourself, your family cannot develop. Your children cannot develop. Your troop cannot develop. Your country cannot develop. Your scouting cannot develop. Therefore, you must start with me. 
So far, everybody happy with it? If you don't grow, your troop can never grow because you are a troop leader or you are a scout master. If you are a chief scout, if you don't grow, your country scouting can never grow. <laughs> you don't agree? It's all the dedication and love of scouting by the chief. Okay? The chief makes things happen. They don't wait for things to happen. And next, the scouting its aim, according to BP, is to three objectives. First thing is, when you're scouting, you must be healthy. Second, you must be helpful. Not many people are very helpful. The real interpretation of helpful means what? Going out of your way to help other people and enjoy doing it. If you just do things at normal speed, you're not helpful. Helpfulness means going out of your way to help other people and enjoy doing it. That is the definition of helpfulness. Then you have happy. So BP says if you are really active in scouting, you should achieve the three H. Are you achieving the three H? If you don't achieve the three H, that means something is missing. So you ask yourself, what is missing? Okay? You have to do some self-analysis, self-evaluation from time to time. Next. Okay, for me, over the last years, both Atif and myself is more than 100 years old actually. And we have developed these eight pillars. In Muslim, they have the five pillars, right? Huh? Afan? This is the eight pillars of success. Okay? The first pillar is you must have the right IQ. Without the right IQ, you cannot develop. You don't have the capacity to absorb and learn. Second, you must have EQ. Emotional caution. Your attitude and behavior. Your attitude and behavior is determined from the age of two until now. How you think about yourself, how you think other people think of you, how you think you th assume people think of you. Okay? That establishes your EQ. Emotional caution. And the third one is health caution. No matter how rich you are, you don't have the health to enjoy, money is useless. So, BP says health is more important than wealth. It's true. There are a lot of people who work so hard to make a lot of money, at the end, they cannot even enjoy chicken. <laughs> 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 the basic things of life, that tons of money because of poor health. Dr. Mook will tell you that. <laughs> health is very important. But that alone is not good enough. <laughs> Doesn't stop there. Then you have financial cushion. Oh my God. This is something very real. BP says, as Atif just now mentioned, a scout is thrifty. Thrifty means you have some surplus every, every time. Keep some money. But you keep some money, you don't do anything with it. You have not skill in the financial literacy. We a scouts must be always very strong. In financial literacy, in saving, in thrifty, and investing, so that it can multiply many, many folds. If you are not strong in FQ, the scum master may have to earn money elsewhere, selling badges, selling all sorts of things, projects to earn money. That is something which BP does not expect. Okay? So a good scout must be very strong financially. You are thrifty, you learn financial literacy. You learn how to multiply your resources. You are very strong financially. A good scout must be at least a millionaire or multi-millionaire. Yes, I'm not joking with you. Okay, a good scout. Because you follow BP's law. Mm -hmm. The thrifty, you keep the money there, you learn financial literacy, financial management, then you learn how to multiply your resources. Many, many times over. Okay, then relationship quotient. I got. I will explain a bit detail when I go a bit further. Very, very important. Most of the world's conflict is due, due to poor relationship. Wars are fought because of poor relationship. Relationship is crucial. Okay? And I, Christine was talking about relationship quite a lot. Okay? So then we talk about adversity caution. Ah, you must be very skilled in overcoming problems. The next one is spiritual question. At the end of the day, we all go home. So no later. 
Where, where are you going to? Where are you going to depends on what you do today. Hmm. You agree? Everybody yes. goes home. Sooner or later. <laughs> Where's our home? Our home is not here. Huh? Okay, so we have to do our best. So to, then to achieve total success is a complete success story. Okay. Oh, so we developed the eight pillars of success. Okay? So I go uh, a little bit in detail in certain issues. Okay, these are the eight. Okay. Whenever we face a problem as a scout or a scout leader, within the stimuli and the reaction, there's a pause. How we react towards the pause and respond to the pause will determine our failure or success, huh? our happiness or unhappiness. It's our interpretation. You agree? Yep. So far, everybody comfortable? Okay, next. Clear? BP. Next. Ah, now we talk about leadership. This is from the guru, John Maxwell. We had the privilege of being trained by him many years ago. He's a mega guru in leadership. He says that leadership, rise, uh, everything rises and falls on leadership. Poor leadership, the com company go bankrupt. Poor leadership, scouts troop can never develop. Good leadership, the scout troop and best thing growing. You agree? So, next one. Ah, this is for me. Leaders always find ways to make things happen. If this way cannot, this way. This way cannot, this way. So many ways. Always find ways to make things happen. You cannot say, oh, I have a problem. I cannot. I don't know how to solve. A leader is a problem solver. We need to find ways and means to solve problems. Uh, this, to me, is a very good example. This Tom Three Arrows is actually me. This is my scout name, Tom Three Arrows. Named after an Indian, Ray Indian scout. Okay? It means you can teach anybody anything by your lecture, but it's the example that teaches best. Okay? Yeah? Everybody happy? It is okay. Next, <coughs> to me, there are four types of leaders. Uh. They may be more, uh, but John was me only talking, uh, no action, uh. not to. Uh. Okay, talk, talk, talk until the cows come home, but nothing gets done. <coughs> Who is famous for this? <laughs> Don't raise your hand, please. We <laughs> 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 are laughing very loud. <laughs> Knuckle bone means what? Always. Punching people. <laughs> How many of you have the uh, this style leader? Please hands up. Always punching people, criticizing, condemning people all the time. Not only punching, no, condemn, criticizing all the time. And they are the best. Other people don't. Okay? You have find this style leaders before? Yes. Yes, yes. Dr. Bull? Then you have wishbone. Always wishing for things to happen. Wishing, wishing, wishing. Wishbone. <laughs> Nobody's a wishbone. <laughs> Only wishing, but no action. Also. Okay? Backboard. Backbone, you get things done. You can rely on What he says, he means what he says. And he says what he means. Okay? Next. So there are plus points and minus points to be a leader. Plus point. You have the love from the people. You have the enthusiasm and excitement to be a leader. You have ambition to be a big, bigger leader and better leader. Then you have the proper direction, set direction for your organization. Okay? That means you, you direct operations from the top. What about penalty? Penalties? <laughs> Sometimes very lonely like, on the top. <laughs> Do they make decisions? Sometimes unpopular decisions. Very lonely. Second, <laughs> people envy you. <laughs> okay? Okay? And third, accusation. When something goes wrong, the leader is responsible. Okay? So you have to be able to withstand all this negative impact. If you don't understand, then don't become a leader. Then you don't face a problem. 
and deny Him. Okay? Now, this is something you may not agree, eh? but this is a very powerful statement. Very, very powerful. You know why? Okay, there are two engineers from the same qualification university going to a job. After five years, one of them became the managing director and chief CEO. The second one remained where he was. And they did a research. We spent more than one thousand one one million US dollars, and they came up with this finding that to be successful in life, you have to get along with people. Whether it's a voluntary organization, non-voluntary, if you cannot get along with people, you cannot succeed. So he says, knowledge is fifteen percent of your success. Eighty-five percent is your ability to get along with people. Okay, this is most powerful, and they spend one million. The Carnegie Foundation spent one million dollars two years of research, and this finding. So, if you want to be successful, what must you do? Let's get along with people at all levels. How to get along with people? A good practice, right? So, the law in life is sometimes very interesting. How to manage adversity? Everybody faces adversity, and there are three types when you face adversity. One is a person who breathes problem, he quits straight away, mm -hmm. one time, right? And he misses the problem, he quits. Then cannot. Second type of person, he goes somewhere and he camps there. After a while, he got so tired, he goes back. He becomes a quitter. The third one is a climber. He climbs small mountain. He gets prepared to go up a mountain, get water, get all the necessary things to get prepared, and then he climbs bigger mountains. Okay, a good scout is a good climber, but you must be prepared. Get ready. So I said, I don't like this job. It's too hard for me. Too hard for me. My God, if you are a diamond, you must be able to withstand pressure. If you cannot withstand pressure, you better you cannot become a diamond because diamond is you got a diamond from pressure, pressure from cold, from press. Then you become a diamond. But that alone is not good enough. You have to shape it and you need to polish it. Okay. So if you if you are a scout and you don't like pressure, you cannot come up. Top. Okay. Can you all repeat this together? Problems are only opportunities. So don't be afraid of problems. The more problems you learn to solve, the more skills you have, the greater capacity you have. So always welcome problems and learn from it. Don't be afraid of problems. Problems sharpen your skills. Okay? Then you turn every problem into opportunities. <coughs> this, to me, is very powerful. Can you all read this together? One, two, three. You know how, how wonderful attitude is. You miss, let's say yesterday you met somebody you don't like very much at all. Okay, yesterday. Today, you saw the fellow coming to you. What do you do? What do you do? You could go up there and meet him. Escape. You escape. No response. You disappear. Why? You don't want to meet this guy. Very enough. So you change your attitude about this guy. Hey, this guy is a nice guy. No, I like to meet him again. So when he comes nearby, you go there. So spontaneous. Very enough. So we re because to me this is the most powerful. This take note of it and take note of it. Very very powerful. Okay. Let me repeat once again. One, two, three. That man can alter their lives by altering their attitude. You alter your attitude, you change your whole life. <coughs> Emil Kue, a famous uh, psychiatrist, see a lot of people getting sick. And then he's, he just developed one sentence. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better, better, better. 
and the sick people get some help. Every day, in every way, I'm getting richer, richer, richer. Every day, in every way, I'm enjoying life better. better. That sentence alone makes people get swell. Because most of us think this is psychosomatic. The most psychosomatic is thinking, thinking until you get sick. You're not really sick, but you think, think, think all the negative thoughts. The we start growing, you become sick. So please, this is also another powerful. Please write it down or take it down. Very, very powerful. Every time you feel down, every day, can you all repeat? Every day, every day. in every way, in everywhere, and getting better, and getting better, 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 and better. I'm better. Straight away you feel better. Uh, okay? Yep. <laughs> Apart, and we are all in the messenger of peace and a thing for your person. We are messengers of peace, but messenger of peace is not uh, inactive. Messenger of peace is very active word. You cannot just say we are messenger of peace and do nothing. Messenger of peace means we serve people. When you are actively serving, serving people, then you are real messenger of peace. What is happiness? Most people find a lot of difficulty in, in explaining what's the meaning of happiness. So we give you a simple explanation so that you understand the semantics of the word. Don't means Happy now and then, you must do your self-analysis. Dome stands for self-analysis. Diagnostic. First question, where are you today? Where are you now? Question. Second question, where do you want to go? Third question, how are you going to get there? Fourth question, how do you know you're getting there? So every few months, you must ask yourself the same question. Where are you? Can you please write down? Where are you now? Where are you now? Second question. Objective. Where do you want to go in six months' time? Two years' time? Right? Three years' time. Where do you want to go? Are you clear? Are you clear where you go? Then the methods. How? How are you going to go get there? Come to Hong Kong. How are you going to come to Hong Kong? By boat, by ship, by plane? My sampan? How? <laughs> okay? Then evaluation means how do you know you're getting it? That if you want to succeed in life, you must have these three components. You must be enthusiastic in whatever you do, the state of excitement and belief. You must be optimistic of the outcome, and you must be determined and don't get discouraged easily. And this is a young man, 17 years old, a king scout. Speaking to you. Okay, I think we have finished your question. Time. Thank you. <laughs> question time. Any question, please? Please, uh, your name and where you come from. Yes. I want to ask about the to total success. Uh, the last total success is spiritual quotients. According to our uh, promise, uh, spiritual uh, place at the first, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, according to uh, Stephen R. Covey, uh, spiritual questions is the basics of another question intellectual quotients and emotional quotients. So why the uh, eight pillars of ta total success, spiritual quotient placed at the end of total success? Thank you. But from Indonesia, it's not the, uh, depends on which compass point you're looking at. You, know? you can look at it uh, as uh, this coming this way or you can act this way. You know? When, when you are young, uh, SQ becomes the last. But when you are very old, SQ becomes the first. <laughs> yeah, because, you, you, you know, you, you, the time is almost up and you are going home faster. Right? So it becomes number one. Got it now? Because money is useless to you. Uh, because when you go home, one dollar is all you cannot give. <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> Do you have measures or instruments to 
determine those? Of course we have. We cannot measure, you cannot evaluate. So if you want to be measured, now, by the way, I must introduce uh, uh, my wife, that team here, and also my daughter. My daughter specialized in EQ. So if any of you here, not outside, nah, the fact that you're here, you have a special privilege. You want to do your EQ personality testing? Please see her with compliments. <laughs> it will cost normally about 50 US dollars to do an EQ. <laughs> but today, we only offer here, give your cards to her, she will give you a briefing later because I'm, we are all very generous today. <laughs> <laughs> so, Atif is uh, very good at this. <laughs> Can I pass over to you? Uh, actually, when I was appointed uh, as regional director in 2006, the first things that we have done, we have done EQ for 22 of our staff in the Arab regional office. And that helped us a lot, which is emotional intelligence for team building. And that helped us to build the team and everyone worked forward and now our office is one of the successful offices uh, because of this emotional intelligence. Uh, thank you very much for your coming and we are very happy that you attend this session and we feel that also we learn a lot uh, from your present and since you are agree uh, about what we have said about successful things in scouting and how scouting can be a way for successfulness in the life of our people and young people, we believe that together we will contribute fully in having more than 100 million proactive citizens to change the life to a better world. Thank you very much and hope that you can enjoy the rest of the Congress. We start with a song, now we end with another song. Mountaini. 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 موطني <تصفيق> Mountaine is my country. Mountaine is my country.